Welcome to JK Education Center. Today I am talking about the base and alkali. What is base? What is alkali? What is the relationship between base and alkali? What is base? We can define base like this. Metallic oxide and metallic hydroxide Normally what is written in different books, metallic oxides and metallic hydroxides are bases. This much is also okay. But if you want to write a little more clearly, you can include one under the compound also. Ammonium hydroxide, ammonium NH4 hydroxide OH. This is not metallic hydroxide, but this is a base. That's why we can say that metallic oxide, metallic hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide are bases. This way also we can define, but if you want to go a little more clearly, then you can say that metallic oxide, metallic hydroxide and ammonium hydroxide are bases which when reacts with acid gives only salt and water as a product. This way if you are writing, then it is complete definition of base. Now let's enter into them. I mean to say what is what it means metallic oxide, metallic hydroxide. Metal when it combines with oxygen, then this metallic oxide, calcium oxide is a metallic oxide. In the same way, magnesium when it combines with oxygen, magnesium oxide forms. This is also a base because metallic oxide. And on the sodium oxide, sodium any oxide means O. Valency of oxygen is 2, sodium is 1, that's why Na2O. Sodium oxide is also a base, metallic oxide. Potassium oxide is also a base, K2O. Aluminium oxide is also a base, Al2O3. Valency of aluminium is 3, oxygen is 2, that's why Al2O3. In the same way, there are so many metallic oxide. All the metallic oxides are bases. When a metal is found to be combined with oxygen then they form metallic oxide and metallic oxide is base not only metallic oxide metallic hydroxide is also base what it means if calcium hydroxide if we have calcium hydroxide valency of calcium is 2 hydroxide is 1 that's why caos whole 2 in the same way magnesium hydroxide this mgos whole 2 sodium hydroxide sodium any hydroxide OS now valency equal valency 1 1 potassium hydroxide potassium hydroxide valency 1 1 that's why no excess aluminium hydroxide Al OS valency of aluminium is 3 that's why it is given to hydroxide 1 we don't have to give it to aluminium this way I'm not uh, taking a lot there are many but few of them are this I mean to say these are metallic hydroxide Metal is combined with hydroxide. They are also with metallic oxides, metallic hydroxide, and ammonium hydroxide. In the chemical reaction, whenever, wherever we see them, we will recognize them as base. Okay. Now, what about alkali? What is alkali? Alkali actually soluble bases are called alkali. What are soluble bases? water soluble base bases are alkali we can see this as definition all the water soluble bases are called alkali it means if we have certain number of base one two three four five six there are many bases uh, some of them uh, some of them doesn't dissolve in water, but most of them dissolves in water. The ba base which dissolves in water is called alkali, but the base which does not dissolve in water is called just the base, not the alkali. That's why all the alkalis are bases, but all bases are not alkali. Is this clear? This very common uh, question that what it means all the Alkalis are bases, but all the bases are not alkali. Uh, we can we can uh, understand this very clearly like this. We have many bases, let's say, 
one is b1 another is b2 another is b3 another is b4 and another is b5 we have many bases let's say if four of them there is b1 b2 b3 b4 they if dissolves in water they are alkali but one of them b5 doesn't dissolve in water and that's why it is base only all of them are base why this may be metal oxide or metallic metallic hydroxide this may be metallic oxide or metallic hydroxide if it is metallic oxide or metallic hydroxide certainly that is base but this one also metallic oxide or metallic hydroxide but does not dissolve in water that's why this base only but this is base plus water soluble base that is alkali that's why we can say all the alkalis are bases but all the bases are not alkali water soluble bases are only alkali that's why this one is not soluble in water that's why this base only we can take example also ferric hydroxide it doesn't dissolve in water. That's why. Look at this. Metallic hydroxide. That's why it is base because according to the definition, metallic hydroxides are base. In the same way, zinc hydroxide. This is also base. But it doesn't dissolve in water. It, it doesn't dissolve in water. That's why this is a base, but water insoluble base. So uh, they are not alkali, only base. Now, after this much understanding, now let's talk about uh, strong alkali and weak alkali. Like acid, alkali is also divided into strong alkali and weak alkali. Strong, strong alkali. Let's talk about strong alkali first. An alkali is called strong alkali if it undergoes almost complete ionization in aqueous solution and gives high concentration of hydroxyl ion in the solution is this clear what i told you is this now this is strong alkali means an alkali which undergoes almost complete ionization in aqueous solution and gives high concentration of hydroxyl ion let's talk about this let's talk about this sodium hydroxide this is strong alkali in the same way potassium hydroxide is also strong alkali why they are strong alkali i want to talk about them a little more let's say we have water and if sodium hydroxide is dissolved in water let's say there are 100 molecules of sodium hydroxide in this water uh, just for example only I'm taking 100 there are millions of millions of sodium hydroxide molecules out of 100 if let's say more than 80 90 molecules are ionized ionized I O N I Z E D when sodium hydroxide ionizes then what happens then it gives sodium ion and hydroxide ion and out of 100 molecule let's say we have 100 molecule in this solution and out of 100 molecule almost all 90 or 95 molecules are if ionized then it gives high concentration of this hydroxyl ion we are concerned with hydroxyl ion because this is the identity of alkali then this is called strong alkali but in all other cases just weak alkali weak alkali that's for example calcium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide this is a weak alkali what it mean weak alkali means let's say we have a beaker and uh, water is taken in this beaker and ammonium hydroxide is dissolved in it out of 100 molecule if only five molecules are ionized out of 100 only five molecules are ionized how it ionizes look at this ammonium hydroxide when ionizes it gives ammonium ion and hydroxide ion now out of 100 let's say only five molecules are ionized 95 molecules are not ionized then it gives low concentration of what hydroxyl ion in the aqueous solution that's why 
and alkali is called weak alkali if it gives very low concentration of hydroxyl ion in aqueous solution all the molecules never uh, never ionizes in case of a strong alkali we have to remember this also if we put more water more and more water then remaining molecule also start to ionize uh, if previously it was 90 now the ionized molecule number of ionized molecule increases 91 92 93 this way uh, almost all the molecule ionizes on dilution but in this case if we put more water uh, instead of 5, maybe 7, 10 molecule ionizes, but remaining huge number of molecule, they never ionize. This is the identity of weak alkali and this is the identity of strong alkali. Strong alkali example, sodium hydroxide, potassium hydroxide, they are, etc. They are strong alkali, but uh, ammonium hydroxide, calcium hydroxide, they are weak alkali. Okay, uh, base alkali and in alkali, strong alkali and weak alkali, we differentiate it. This much for today.